Oh well, hello my beauties and welcome to my channel. Today's video is about the new makeup line from Essence. So are you ready? Here we go. So before I show you what goodies I got today, I just want to say that this video will also be up in Dutch. If it is not up when you are watching this, it will be up very, very soon because I will be uploading them back to back. So if you are Dutch or you prefer to watch me speak Dutch, go check out the other video. What I also want to mention is that I put timestamps down below so you can check those out. The video will be in a few parts. The first part will be the review for you guys about the products, a little bit about the products. Then there will be uh, the application where I show you how I achieved this look. And then I will insert an eight hour wear test from yesterday and that will be the finished video. So that is why I put in the timestamps because maybe you already have these products and just want to see how I apply them and how they wear throughout the day. I don't know. So let's get to the goodies that I got. I will show you briefly what I got. And then after I have told you, I will be going into a little bit more detail. So what did I get? I got the eyeshadow palette and I will show you in a minute. I got the blush in the color Wanderlust Feeling. It's nice. I got the highlighting blotting paper. I have the bronzing stick in, I believe it's, yes, the color is 01 Travel Lover. Then I have two lipsticks. I'm sorry, they are a bit shiny, but the dark one is called Kisses from the Orient and the lighter one is called Kisses from Asia. So those are the products that I got. So let's get into a little more detail and we are starting with the eyeshadow palette. I will insert the swatches now. So as you can see, the first swatch is done with a brush, just a flat eyeshadow brush. And the second one is done with a sponge tip applicator. I put the names of the shades between the two swatches. And as you can see, they are all shimmers. So here is the palette. And as you can see, the pens are quite large. It doesn't say on the packaging how much grams you get per eyeshadow, at least not that I can find, but maybe you can. Um, it, is, it is a nice packaging. It uh, closes with a magnet. It is cardboard. You don't get a mirror. <clears throat> Uh, and at the back it says collect moments not things six trendy matching bronze eyeshadow colors that can be combined in every way soft and long lasting texture texture with metallic effect and high payoff you also have the ingredients listed here and here you have a picture of an eye as you can see and then it says uh, get the look so it explains how you can use the palette so that's fun I played with it yesterday uh, yesterday I made an all shimmer look so I only use the shadows in this palette uh, the colors are nice the only thing I have to whine about is the fact that it is all shimmers uh, I would have liked personally to have a, a matte in there but today I found a way around that. So if you stay to the ending almost and you see how I get this look, you'll see what I use as a transition shade. And it's not from this palette that I can tell you, but it is also not, not from this collection. Now I'm confused. Anyway, just check out how I did that. But back to the palette. So the colors are nice. You have a, purp a purple shade here. You have a brown. You have your gold. You have a white. This is a champagne, I think. And this is... I have no idea how to describe this color. I'm sorry. My English is good, but it's not that good. So I apologize. 
Yesterday I also did a wear test and I will leave the wear test at the end of the video in case you are interested but basically uh, I applied the shadows in the morning I only used an eyeshadow primer yeah I used an eyeshadow primer by Catrice and then I just wore the makeup during about eight hours and then after eight hours I filmed the results again I will list that at the ending and what I found was my eyeshadow was worn off here in my crease but that is not uncommon for me and I my theory is the fact that I have hooded eyes and it just rubs off here uh, in the inner part it doesn't really bother me you know I don't go around all day looking like this so I don't even think people notice and I notice it when I look up close in the mirror didn't have any fallout uh, underneath my eyes uh, the color stayed on really really nicely at the end of the day you could still see the shimmers it, it wasn't muddy uh, it, it looked well pretty much the same as in the morning when I applied it so I am really impressed with the staying power of these shadows um, if this is your only palette it may be that you are having a little bit of a difficulty I did I am a creative person but still I am so used to palettes that have a combination of matte and shimmers that I really needed to get my brain working on how I could best use only shimmers in an eyeshadow look for me personally I don't like it I want uh, at least one matte shadow in my eyeshadow look but again that is my personal preference and I found a way around that so that is okay this will be a nice addition to the collection that I have is it worth its money I think so yeah and uh, again I am really happy with this eyeshadow palette next up is the blush and I really like it it's pink it is not a color that I have in my collection at the moment actually okay my collection is not that big I have an, a blush palette but I really like this color I will swatch it for you this is what it looks like on my finger and this is what it looks like on my hand and this one has a little bit of a satin finish so it is not I'm looking at my mirror now how it reflects the light it does have a little tiny bit of golden flex I can see that but it's really really fine and actually you get more of a satin finish oh I almost fell off my chair and I like that in a blush so how long does it wear this one again I was really really surprised after eight hours my blush was still on and I do have to say that it was more pronounced here than here because I sit like this a lot of the time so that's not really weird but uh, I have an eye uh, I have a blush palette from Revolution. I like those, but this has better staying power. So, is this worth your money? Definitely, definitely. What I saw is they have two colors. I got the darker one, and I am not sure why I didn't get the light one. It could be that they didn't have it at the store where I was, but I will check again. And if they have it, I think I will pick that one up as well. So yeah, the blush really really good I will be using that more often maybe you have seen a theme here because I am starting with the products that I really like why because I like it that way next two products are my lipsticks and I hope it is not too shining I'm sitting in front of a window so I hope this will help a bit I got two um, what I saw on the picture is that they have three and again same with the blush I don't know why I only got two maybe it is because I was <laughs> I was just like a magpie Ooh, shiny stuff but maybe it's because I thought it was too light but too light for me but I will check in the stores again because it could also just be that the store I was in just didn't carry the third one I didn't get everything from the collection they also had a bronzing powder I wasn't interested in that and they had some sticker tattoo thingies well as you may have seen I don't need them 
back to the lipsticks i will swatch them for you the darker one is called uh, zero one kisses from the orient and it is the one that i am wearing now and i will swatch it on my hand for you guys and i will see i don't think it shows up it shows up a little bit in my mirror but i don't know if it shows up on camera but this one has some gold flecks in it and it is really nice when it hits the light it gives a nice golden sheen so it is a very golden theme that they have going on in their new summer collection but i like it the only thing that i have to say is it feels gritty when you put it on and that is because of the gold flecks in it you feel the gold flecks so if your lips are really really sensitive this lipstick line is not for you this is the light one and it is called or the lighter one it's called 02 kisses from asia and this is more of a rose gold and i will swatch it next to the darker one and again this one has gold flecks in it and again i don't know if it will translate on camera i tried this one out yesterday as well because i wanted to know the staying power of both lipsticks so i could tell you guys the staying power of this dark one for me is better than the lighter one why because this one is darker than my natural lip color and that really helps um, when it fades the color fades because it is a lipstick it is not a liquid lipstick so it doesn't dry down it is a lipstick formula but it is not as rich and uh, emollient as lipsticks can be this is a little bit drier it's still not a matte and not as dry as a matte so it's a little bit in between a normal lipstick and a matte lipstick if that makes sense what did happen is at the end of the day after my eight hour mark i had golden flecks on my chin and i think that is from the lipstick so that was a bit odd but then again maybe it just was transfer it could also be transferred for my fingers but let me see now if i have any now no well, I don't have any uh, golden flecks on my chin now, so it could be from the lipstick. It could also be something else. I don't really know, but they were so small that it didn't really bother me. Um, if this one fades, how do I explain it? The product fades first, but the color stays longer. I hope that makes sense. Uh, the gold flecks, they well fade again with transfer, but... Uh, what I found that this lipstick was uh, really gone after about four hours and I didn't eat but I did drink so uh, yeah for me it has a longer staying power than normal lipsticks I am not a liquid lipsticks kind of gal I don't like how they feel on my lips I am a lipstick and a gloss girl if you are a lip a liquid lipstick girl or a matte lipstick girl maybe these are not for you but then again for the price you can just pick one up and see if you like it the staying power of the lighter one that i have was a little bit less than the darker one but still very good for a lipstick what i found from the lighter one was that the color faded before the gold flex did so after a few hours i had a very minimal amount of color left on my lips but i did have a tiny bit of gold flex so again for the price yeah you know why not i i really really like the colors i love 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 this darker one and you know ever since i got this i have tested this one but this one and this is one of my favorites yeah so definitely go check those out now now we have a product that i am not really sure what i think it is the bronzing stick and they have two i think i got the lighter one this one is i think so it's zero one travel lover and i will show you what it looks like i will swatch it here on my hand if I compare this with the bronzer that I have, it is a bit, it is a bit weird, camel color or something. I'm I'm not sure what to do with it. It has an orangey base, as do all uh, bronzers, but it also has a bit of a grayish undertone almost. So I'm not really sure if 
So yeah, I'm not really sure what to think about uh, the stick. I am not used to bronzers in a stick. That's the first thing. And the bronzer that I use now is very, very light. I, I got it here. It's the Summer of Love Triple Bake Bronzer from I Heart Makeup. It looks like this. And this one is just so light that if I swatch it, I don't think you guys are able to see it. Oh, maybe you are. But it it is here. So it does have... No, it is way, way lighter than this one. So this one, when I swatched it in store, it barely showed up. But it's really, really pretty on my skin. I just get that sun-kissed look. So this one is, for me, about four shades darker than the one that I have now. So it could be that I just have to get used to it. I don't know. If you have it, let me know how it works out for you. So yeah, yesterday I used it as a bronzer, just placement of the bronzer. And maybe I used too much because I felt I was really orange. And today I use it more like a, a contour. So that seems to work when I look now. And I really worked it in with my sponge again. You will see it uh, if you watch the clip of how I got this look. Uh, but yeah, this one, the jury is still out on this one. I'm not sure. <clears throat> <clears throat> the next product, the last one that I got is this one and it is the highlighter blotting paper and I am just, it's not my type of product. I have a loose paper here and I have used this one I think. This is what they look like. The trouble with this one, oh it doesn't show up, oh no I will get a new one. But the trouble with the highlighter is it's really dark for my skin tone. So this I cannot use as a highlighter in the highlighter sense of the word. So what I'm going to do is I'm pressing and can you see here the stripe? The difference in, in skin tone. So for me, I could use this um, on top of my blush. I could. I could maybe use it to accentuate my bronzer. But if I want to do that, I will get my uh, Summer of Love bronzer because that one also has a tiny bit of a sheen in it. And I could also use a highlighter with a really, really fluffy brush and a light hand. So when I tapped it on yesterday, that is how I started. It didn't show up. Show up. What I did today was, and you can still see it, uh, what I did today was I uh, used it with a brush and again you can see it in the in the clip that I will insert later But I am not not a fan of these blotting papers What I do think is that if you have a deeper skin tone This will probably be really really pretty I also think that the blush that I put on here can be really pretty on a darker skin tone So this line for me same with the eyeshadow is not just catered to my skin color i think there are a lot of people who can who can have fun with this little collection so my final judgment is it worth your money yeah will i buy more of the line probably i think i will check out the lightest lipstick and the lightest blush and i think and the rest I'm not really interested in. So again, the powder, I, the bronzing powder, I will not get. And eyeliner that I just didn't know what to do with. So maybe I will pick that one up as well. That was a bronze. But I think that Essence did a really good job with this collection. It could have been more elaborate. Of course it could have been. But you know, a little small collection like this, I kind of like it. I think it's cute. So... Guys, uh, this is it for my review for now. So what will be coming next is how I achieved this look and the 8 hour wear test from yesterday. So if you don't want to see that and you are tapping out here, thank you for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell. And then I will be seeing you soon in my next video. Let's get to the application.
so guys that was the application the next part will be uh, just a short piece of my eight hour wear test from yesterday so guys we are at the eight hour mark and it held up pretty well uh, i am impressed actually as you can see i i will come in a little bit closer don't freak out but as you can see the colors are still there the shimmer is still there the only thing that is missing from my eyeshadow is right here here is a part missing but i have that sometimes especially with cheaper palettes i have that just because i have hooded eyes and yeah it just happens sometimes but as you can see the gold shimmer that we put on is still there the lighter one is still there uh, I don't have any fallout here, the highlight here is still there, the blush is still there and the highlight that I put on with the blotting paper, I put it on really lightly and no, but again it's still there, look here. Now I'm wearing the lighter one because I wanted to see how that one wore and uh, this one is also fading now but it has been about, let me check, two hours since I applied it so it's it's holding up really nicely as you can see the shimmer is still there it is minimum um, I do have fallout on my chin from the lipstick so that is a little bit weird but that is just because there are shimmers in there and when you go like this some can just jump off your lips or something like that um, well that was the video and I hope it was informative I hope you learned something I did I hope you had fun watching me and if you have any questions or comments leave them down in the comment section below give the video a thumbs up if you liked it hit the subscribe button and the little bell if you haven't done so already and I will be seeing you very soon in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.